Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a new video and this video is going to be about the advice for my Urban Decay. I actually um, like ordered this makeup palette like a week ago because it was only launched at Sephora like a week ago. Um, the box of the palette looks like this. It looks just amazing. You have like kind of a spider, like a web spider, um, a spider web, uh, like geochromy, like green and purple and you have the vice thing right in purple, it just looks amazing and on the back you have all of the eyeshadows and you have a little text saying there is no such thing as too much vice, we loaded the limited edition palette with 20 addictive gorgeous never before seen shades of eyeshadow, deep brights, smoky neutrals, Gorgeous mattes. From C note, a pale metallic green and grip, a really beautiful smoky neutral, to pandemonium, an amazing plum, and dead beat, a black satin that's like nothing we've ever done. This palette has it all. We've even included a huge mirror, a double ended brush, and a coordinating back. Um, you have the bag like you had for device 3 and I actually took device 3 with me so I could show you and just make kind of like a comparison between those two so that was device 3 bag and that was device 4 this is device 4, it's not that was um, I actually prefer I think device 4 version um, I don't know why, I feel like it's more I don't know, you can move it a bit more but I feel like the bag of device 4 doesn't really show as it really is in real life um, because on camera it just looked like a basic black with silver thing on front but when you look at it in real life it have like um, green and like pinky purpley little not really dots but like splash of color it's not a lot but it, it still change a bit and I think that looks amazing. To be honest it's not really a makeup bag on which you can put a lot because it's really slim but it's perfect to just put your palette inside if you just travel or I don't know want to take it with you. It's way more better to take it inside of this. For the actual palette it looks like this. It's so beautiful. Actually it doesn't really look exactly the same as on the box because in the box it's a bit purple and green and on the actual palette it's blue and green and it looks so so good um, the actual color thing is not like um, painting on the palette it's like over the makeup palette if I can say it like this it looks so so good um, like I just love the vice packaging this one was the, was the vice 3 I'm gonna be able to do it um, it was like kind of like a big mirror thing with some like stripes of color and a vice in a big greeny stress thing. Um, I love it. I love the packaging at first and now I feel like it looks kind of cheap with the really big thing on it. I don't really know but still. Um, the trouble with that is that it's it get I don't know, I'm really sad because it looks like it's in a really 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 bad state when I actually take a lot of care of it so I'm definitely gonna carry this one always in its bag but I think because you have like kind of like the color thing on top of it, it's not really going to damage the palette as much as Device 3 did. Same as Device 3, you have a really really big mirror, I'm not going to just like blind you with it, but you have an amazingly big mirror, which is actually like the size of the makeup palette. On the inside you have a double-ended brush, which is exactly the same in Device 3 1, except the Device 3 was like a neon green yellowy colour, and this one is a purple one, and I love purple so I'm really happy, but to be honest I don't really think that it's a really useful makeup brushes because um like it's dual fiber so it doesn't really pick the pigment and this side which is supposed to be like a blending size is actually like so small that you can't really blend anything with it but it's still great to have in your makeup collection and it can still definitely save you if you don't have clean brushes or you don't have your brushes with it you this can still work i just love the color range when I first looked at it online, I was thinking it was a bit weird, but now that I have it, I think it's amazing. Again, I was thinking that some color was similar to the Vice 3, but um, when I have it in hand, uh, it doesn't look as um, similar to the Vice 3 that I thought. 
And I actually made you some swatches so you're going to be able to see like the color I was thinking it was the same. And actually it's not. The color I was the most excited about is actually this one. Which is like, you're going to be, what, it's like a stupid matte neutral. But actually yes it is. It's just like a matte orangey browny color. And I was so excited to have it because I just love that color in like fall look when you're just having a really um, warm uh, orangey color into the crease, a matte color of course, and I didn't have color like this and I just wanted to have one so much and I saw that it's, I just think that it's an amazing color to do fall makeup and even not for fall makeup, but again there is a lot of amazing color like fastball, like um, hollow, like underhand, um, this one also, Grace, Hopper and Flame, this is just amazing. Don't worry, you're going to have a makeup look coming up soon and I'm just really happy to show it to you. It's actually a full face makeup. I think that what's amazing is that you have some kind of neutrals and it's weird because I, you know, I just like kind of those both palettes and they actually have kind of the same number of neutrals color. Maybe it's rather like one less. I just love playing with Vice palette because you can try to get out of your comfort zone and it's what I did the other day. I actually post you a picture on Instagram so if you don't follow me on your social media. Again, all my links are down below so just be sure to check it out. And I actually uh, asked my boyfriend, okay, what colour should I just do my makeup today? And look at the palette and said, do something green. And I was like, okay. And I actually play with Grasshopper which is this one. And when I played the first one was like, that's super bright, that's horrible, I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage it. And I used it with um, Delete, which is like this um, dark brown matte, which is amazing, and a bit of bitter, and that was so amazing. I post some picture on Instagram and I just love the final results, and I'm really happy, like, you know, just asking someone to say, okay, stay, tell me a colour, choose choose an eyeshadow and I'm going to do my makeup with it so I definitely have to do something good and I managed to do it and I was really 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 happy. The eyeshadow are really pigmented again it's Cubanic eyeshadow so it's definitely going to be super pigmented but the kind of pottery I think it's not as pottery as um, the Vice 3 eyeshadow but it's still really pottery um, it's weird because I feel like the naked um, like makeup palette as not as powdery as those so I don't really know but they're still really good products and as I already said I way prefer to have a powdery eyeshadow but that's pigmented than um, non powdery eyeshadow but that's so dry that it doesn't have any pigments. And now I'm going to do some swatches telling you the colours what it looks like. On the first line you have bones which is like a satin really kind of like this grid color it's like a white a bit dirty white color framed which is like a skin color color and it's matte so you can barely see it then you have this grid, and it's actually a matte taupey veiling color really really pale and then you have bitter probably one of my favorite color which is a matte brony orangey color amazing on the second range you have grip which is a silvery with some glitter. A fastball, it's a pink with a bit of orangey coverly geochrome. Grasshopper, which is an amazing green, I just love this color. And you have flame, a glittery coppery orangey color. On the third row you have deadbeat, a satin black. 1985, a super beautiful fuchsia pink but with a lot of metal effect in it. C notes, an amazing green, I can't really explain its color, it's like a pale greenish, I don't know. And you have low, which is a dark taupey glittery color. <laughs> On the next row we have beat down, which is an amazing dark blue purpley color, just looks so so good. Actually beat down is more satin and really metallic. You have underhand, which is again a satin Pur not really purpley, it's like burgundy but more violet. Arctic, a turquoise with some glitter, like gold glitter. You have crowbar, which is a dark khaki color, so like green 
with a bit of gold again with some glitter and it actually looks kind of like duochrome so it looks like a black with khaki reflects. In the last row you have pandemonium which is almost like I think I'm gonna say shimmery dark dark violet. You have Harlow which is an amazing light purpley violet colour, a bit metallic and it looks so so good, I love it. You have Rubbery, a dirty gold colour, more greyish gold colour. And the last colour is Delete, a dark brown matte. Then as I'm going to show you, I find some colour a bit similar on the Vice 3 and the Vice 4, so again I made swatches and I'm going to explain you the kind of difference because swatches it don't really look the same. First I was thinking that Alien from the Vice 3 and Fastball from the Vice 4 looks kind of similar. The Fastball is way more pigmented pink with some kind of orangey reflects and Alien looks pink in the pan but when it swatches it looks more like a gold with some pink reflects. Then I was thinking that 1985 was looking like Alchemy from the Vice 3, but it turns out that 1985 is way more pinky when Alchemy is way more burgundy. And I actually think that looks way more like Underhand from the Vice 4. And then I swatches Grasshopper and Dragon from the Vice 3 because they don't really look as similar in the pan, but they, I was thinking in picture it was the same. But it's not. Um, Dragon is way more like a satin colour and Grasshopper is way more a metallic colour. And actually Grasshopper has a bit more, a bit of a tone blue in it. My last thought about the Vice 4, the last thing I want to say is, do you need to have it? Well, first, no one have a need, like really need a makeup palette. But like, if, do you need to buy it? It depends if you like to play with colour, it depends if you like some Urban Decay products, it depends if you're going to use it. I think that it's an amazing makeup palette. I love playing with colours, so it's definitely what I love. Don't be too hard on the powdery side, because the colours are really pigmented, so it counts okay. Again, it's a bit pricey. I think there's like almost 54 euros, so a bit pricey. But if you can have a Urban Decay junkie that you want to have it then just take it because it's amazing and I think you can do super great thing with it. Well this video is over I really really hope that you just liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up because I would be really happy if you want to see a makeup tutorial or something just say it in the comment I would be really really happy to do it for you. You can also subscribe to my channel by just clicking down there to just, I don't know, just support me and by that you're going to be able to see every single video I'm going to make. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you very soon. Bye!